Hi guys, it's Paul again from my art YouTube art tutorial channel. Um, tonight, or oh, this is going to go out on Saturday morning, uh, we're going to uh, go back in time to Sesame Street actually. I don't know if you're young you won't remember Sesame Street, but there's a very famous character, quite cute little character called Almo. Uh, and we're going to do a zombie version of Elmo from Sesame Street, so I'm going to do it uh, I'm going to do it over here, uh, behind um, Mickey Mouse's hand. Okay, so it's going to start with his nose. All right, so I'm going to draw his nose, which looks a bit like an egg. Okay, and it goes like this. Like that, okay. Uh, from his nose, we're going to do two big zombie eyes. All right. Um, And it's going to go like this, like two eggs. Okay, there's one. Um, and then the second one is more almost circular. There's a second one there, okay. Um, and it's a dead simple, really simple uh, drawing here. So we're going out. And we're going to go in to there. Uh, and from here we're going to go around um, round to this here and then we're going to just curve it round to make a bit of a chin and he's got a little bump on his chin there okay now um, this is a bit like a chip piece of chibi um, Japanese art we're going to make his hands look a little bit like zombie hands Okay, so we're going to go really long hands here. Long hands. We're going to go in like this. And we're going to curve it around to the chin here. Okay. Um, the other part of his body is going to curve like this. Get out of your way in a minute so you can do this bit there we are okay um, then all we need to do is his little belly in there okay one little stick leg tiny little stump of a, of a leg gonna curve the leg this way and draw that and then we're gonna do the same on this side, like that, and that's basically uh, Almo, zombie Almo. So we've just got to put his eyes in now. So he's going to have one eye like this, and then he's going to have a really big eye, okay, which is like this, okay, um, and then we're going to colour in um, our. Um, Almo. So, what I want you to do is to go round um, with a fine liner. This is a Stabilo fine liner. Uh, at the moment, they're about. I well, don't work for Stabilo at all, or, or I'm not being. This isn't a product placement, really. I'm just um, suggesting the the pens that I like to use, um, and I'll put links on the description of these videos for you. Uh, I found them on Amazon for about about thirteen fourteen pounds in the UK at the moment, um, and you get a, a quite a big pack of uh, six uh, sorry sixty pencil cranes that I use the Faber, -Cast uh, Faber Castell ones, and then there's a, a pack of twenty five. These are point eight eight uh, fine liners. And I wouldn't recommend using these for coloring in very big areas, but for the for the lines around cartoon characters or for the fine detail sometimes when you want just a little bit of splash of colour these are really really good I really like them okay so so what we've now got is Almo um, all done is ready for a bit of colour so I'm going to use for this now I'm going to use two 
um, two reds, okay? Um, we'll colour in those eyes in a little while. So the reds I'm using uh, is quite a, a bright red uh, for the majority of Elmo, and then a, a bit of a darker kind of maroony, almost a brown red, just for a little bit of shadow. Okay, so I'll start off doing the red on his on his head okay what I'd recommend is all going in the same direction if you can so up and down or side to side easier up and down on on this curve here um, and if you if you struggle to stay inside the lines that's why the fine the fine line is quite useful actually because it just gives you an extra little bit um, of width when you're coloring in you can always go over the fine line and find that if you go over it in pencil crane the fine line it tends the fine line tends to go grey a little bit dull so you can you can always go over that again with fine line later okay so that's how it's going to start off um, try and do this as quickly as I can for you um, obviously if you're at home doing this you probably pause the video um, pause the video when it whenever you want to especially when my hand gets in the way uh, it's very awkward to draw or colour in without your hand coming across the page so I'll try and keep moving out of your way okay so we've got the face done now our most famous for being bright red in Sesame Street the cartoons particularly is really bright um, a really bright shade of red um, so if you've got a, a bright red that's great if not don't worry just a duller red I wouldn't go an orangey orangey red here you want a bright kind of pillar box red if you can okay under his chin don't worry too much because I am going to do a bit darker under there and try and make sure you get rid of any white space you don't really want to see any white here okay there we are uh, his eyes are going to stay white, by the way, apart from the pupils that are going to be black. And I'll do that with a fine liner, I think, just because um, it's quite a small space. So I'm not really too fussed about using a pencil crane. Um, hope you guys, guys are well. Um, it's um, it's uh, Corona, obviously, a week. I think we're on, in the UK, we're on week four of the lockdown now. Um, and this will be going out on Friday night into Saturday morning. Most of you will probably see this Saturday morning. It's quite late now, Friday evening. Um, if you're at home with parents, I hope you're looking after them and making sure they're happy. I'm not getting on my nerves very much. Um, it's difficult being in the same house as people and getting each other on, on each other's nerves. Sometimes I think uh, I've got three children and um, yeah, we're under each other's feet all the time at the moment, particularly my daughters and I. Okay. Walking the dog's keeping me sane at the moment. So I'm just using the darker red now. And I'm going right over the top of the brighter red and I'm giving him giving him the shadow that I want okay you could miss the brighter red out in these places sometimes in these parts um, some people like to just draw straight onto white or close straight onto white I don't really mind having the red underneath okay we're gonna do this kind of thing here this is not dark enough you could always go over it with a gray or um, maybe a black something like that okay um, and then we're, we're gonna darken this section up underneath his legs here just to give him a bit of shadow under there okay and then across his knuckles a little bit of dark on, on his hands there, okay. Now, 
what I want to just show you is how you can actually make this look a little bit more zombified, really. So I'm going to thicken this line up. I'm going to do it in stages here. And this will make it a little bit 3D. It'll stand off the page a little bit when you do this. So I've got my three, my um, fine liner here. Okay, I'm just going around the edges to make it a little bit thicker on this side here. And then I want some black in there. Okay. Um, and a little bit of dark in this belly section here. I think it needs a little bit in there. There we go. Looks a bit better. Okay. Um, and then what we can do on this with this um, fine liner now is we can put some bags under his eyes. Okay. You want some curves like this under his eyes, okay? That's what you want, like that. Okay, and a little bit more under here. A couple more on that side. Okay. And then we want to... We want another line around here, black, around the eyeball, and then we'll continue that thicker line right around his eye, like that, okay, um, what you want to do is a bit of a pronounced section there, okay, so we'll have one little white splodge there in that corner. The rest of this is black. Okay, and then we've got a tiny bit of white in that corner, but not very much. Like that. Okay, so um, we now need a little bit of grey. Okay, so um, you can choose your grey now. We can go uh, lighter, I think probably lighter grey for this. Um, it's going to just bring a little bit of light grey through there. And a little light grey there. Okay, just to give you a little bit more of that 3D effect. Okay. Might put a little bit of grey over the top of this here just to deaden that colour a little bit. It's supposed to be a zombie. Okay, uh, and then what you want really is a really light um, colour. Now, these pencil crayons that I've got here, um, there is a really, really light kind of fleshy colour um, that you could, you could perhaps use. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's this one here, which is a really, really light in these um, Faber Castell pencil cranes. You want his nose, this kind of brownie. You get like a like a creamy brownie colour for his nose. You could do it yellow if you wanted to, um, but he's supposed to be a zombie, so we don't want any really majorly happy colours yellow so that, that kind of brown is perfect for us here there we are um, and then as I say if I've gone over the black just want to liven that black up a little bit go over it once more around his nose okay there we are um, and then what you could do is you could have him um, with a bit of a shadow here underneath. Okay, so just a little bit of uh, shading of grey or pencil crayon underneath here. Alright, a bit darker by his feet. Alright. And that 
is Zombie Elmo from Sesame Street. Looks pretty cool, really, doesn't it? Um, okay, loads of different kind of Sesame Street characters you can do with zombie zombies. Um, so that's a quick tutorial for you. That is, where are we? 15 minutes, hopefully. That'll take you less time than, than I've taken because I've talked you through it. Um, so, hope you have a good uh, day anyway. This is going out on mainly on Saturday. Uh, have a lovely weekend and speak to you soon. All right, take care.